answers. Hi, I'm Alicia Khoury, and I'm here to influence, educate, inspire, and entertain you with audacious confidence. Audacious confidence is the unshakable belief in yourself that's so bold and so daring that you live your life without limits or restrictions. So join me on my show, Unleash Your Audacious Confidence, so we can discover the unknown you. Call in to join the conversation at 888-565-1470. Let's get started. Hey, 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 good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It is Unleash Your Audacious Confidence with Alicia Curry. Hi. And uh, today is Monday, and yesterday was Father's Day, so I just wanted to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. I hope you had a great day yesterday. Um, and so <laughs> today's topic, well, just so that you know, I did have a guest for today, a guest scheduled for today, but um, they had an emergency and could not make it in. So I hope you're not too disappointed that you've got me. You've got me instead. And so today we're gonna talk a little bit about unleashing your audacious confidence and your signature style. We're gonna talk a little bit about your signature style, but before I get started with that, I want to, let me see, I wanna share this on Facebook. There we go, I'm live right now. I want to go ahead and share it on Facebook. So, um, before I go on to that, I wanted to share with you because I'm so excited that my book that I had been talking about, my other book, is finally here. There it is. Yay! Uh, so this one is called Age Younger, 21 Tips to Make Your 40s Look Like Your 20s. And I will be... Um, having a book signing in Jacksonville on Thursday. I will be in Jacksonville on Thursday. You have to give me a second for my brain to catch up. <laughs> I will be in Jacksonville on Thursday, and I will be doing a book signing with this book. I'll have both books with me, and um, I just wanted to do a quick plug as well. I'm trying to share this. I, I, I'm trying to share this on Facebook so that people can join in. So I wanted to do a quick plug as well for my other book that just came out. And this one is called Leadership. So uh, last year I spoke at West Point and um, it was a leadership conference at West Point. And those who were part of the that leadership conference, we are now in this book right here. So this is also available on Amazon. So look at that. I, um, you know, I got three books out on Amazon, yay. So here we go. I wanna talk from this book. It's called Your Signature Style, Unlocking the Confidence, Style, and Influence of the Savvy CEO. And before my computer dies, which it may die soon, <laughs> I wanted to just, give you a definition of what I believe your signature style is. And it's not about what outfit you wear or how you pull yourself together or whether or not you can interpret fashion. Your signature style is when you discover and embrace your unique style. Uh, there should be an ease about you, a quiet grace when you walk into a room that attracts people. That's my definition of having your own signature style having that ease and that grace about you that allows you to be yourself, be fully engaged in who you are, and allow people to now want to know who you are just by being you. And um, you see, for me, that was a very challenging, that was a very challenging thing. It was a difficult thing for me because I, a lot of people don't believe this, knowing me now, but I did lack self-esteem back in the day. I did lack self-esteem, and um, I, I sort of had to find a way to get out of my shell because I became very introverted. I became very, um, I don't want to say antisocial because I never was that. I was always sociable, but I was uncomfortable in social situations. 
So if that's you, I understand exactly where you are. I used to be uncomfortable in social situations. And you see, the way I look at it is my story is your story. I mean, and when I say that, I don't mean my exact story is your story. We all have a story and we all have, have things that have happened to us in our lives that have shaped our lives to who we are today. And so that's what I mean by my story is your story because we all have something of value to give that we have um, developed or we have been through that now we can use as a platform for others. And so <laughs> my story growing up, um, I was a very bold child. I was a very outspoken child. But somewhere along the way, I lost that. And I had to find a way to rediscover it. And that's kind of the journey that's in this book of how to rediscover or how to reignite that audaciousness that may be laying dormant inside of you. So one of the things that helped me very much was developing what I call your spiritual tags. So spiritual tags to me are things that were gifted to you uh, by God from conception. And your tags stand for your talents, your assets, your gifts, and your skills. So each one of us have talents, assets, gifts, and skills. But a lot of times we don't recognize them or we don't, we don't see them. And that's where your unique signature style comes from, recognizing what those tags really are. I just saw the number pop up on the screen. So if you would like to call in, please call in. The number is 888-565-1470. It's 888-565-1470. So your talents are things that you can develop. Gifts are things that you use to serve others. Your assets help um, take you where you need to go. And of course, your skills are also, like talents, things that you can develop. So there was... Um, I don't know, a long time ago on Oprah, she highlighted someone, and her name was Julie Morgenstein. Julie Morgenstein? Morgan Stern. Julie Morgan Stern. So she had a knack for organization. She was very organized. But she was actually a writer, director. She was in theater and in, in production, theater production. But she really had a knack for organization. And that knack for organization actually took her into, because that was, that was not just a gift, but she took that gift and she created um, something out of that gift. Because a lot of times your gifts are things that aren't a struggle for you. It just comes so naturally. And people look at it and they say, how could you do that? And you're just so easy with it. And that's a gift. So she took that gift of organization and she started organizing people's homes for them. She started organizing, um, you know, people's closets, their kitchens, their... And that was a passion of hers and that turned into a huge business for her because she realized that theater and act and um, writing and producing plays in theater was very challenging. She enjoyed doing it, but the opportunities weren't always there for her and organization just took off. So sometimes there are things that we have, gifts that we have, things that we're doing that we don't even realize it's it's there to serve other people. It's there to, um, to share with other people. And that gift is what, you know, the Bible says your gift makes room for you. That gift is what's going to make room for you. So um, don't despise your gifts. You know, look at them, nurture them, discover what they are, and, and find ways to use them to serve others. So... That, uh, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to talk about, because as we were talking about tags, 
your gifts and your talents. Um, talents are things that you can develop. So let's say you have you you love to sing and you have a great singing voice. Guess what? Those things can be developed even more, and that can take you to places that you never even dreamed possible. But one of the things that is even more important than talent, because this show is about confidence. You know, sometimes you look at someone and you say, well, this person has more talent than that person, yet this person is so much more successful. And that is kind of the, um, the difference maker, is their confidence. You can be very talented in a certain area, but you lack the confidence to actually go out and and showcase your talent. That was one of my struggles, is that I can speak, and I could speak to people, but I did not have the confidence to stand in front of a room or to stand in front of even just a small group of people and speak. And so I had to learn how to develop that talent and be able to stand in front of people and develop my confidence so that I can stand in front of a room of people and I can stand, I can sit here in front of who knows how many people are listening and I can stand in front of a camera. Um, those are things that your confidence allows you to take your talents and your gifts and take them to places that you never even thought possible. You may have dreamt that you could or dreamt that you wanted to, but never really thought that you could. So, you're, um, <laughs> I'm getting way too comfortable here. <laughs> so, then, developing confidence is one of the key ingredients to really taking those, those spiritual tags, your talents, your assets, your gifts, and your skills, to a whole different level. <laughs> so... Let's talk a little bit. I'm trying to get through some things before my computer dies. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit before I go to break about um, who you are. Because your, your, your gifts can also be found in discovering who you are at the core. Um, there is a certain way of, of thinking and being that um, makes you very unique. And Dr. Caroline Leaf, Dr. Caroline Leaf is a neuroscientist who has studied the brain for years and years and years. And she actually came up with, a, with seven different pillars of thought. And the way that we think and the way that we express ourselves is where our uniqueness is found and it's where part of our gift is found. And so when we come back from a commercial break, I will talk about what these seven pillars and how that serves you and your gifts. And so um, I'll be right back after a couple minutes. Georgia Bryce, author of On Your Way to Meeting You, The Journey That Changes Everything, brings you the Me Revolution Leadership Summit. This summit is designed to activate the leader in you and disrupt your status quo. Enlarge your territory, expand your reach during this one-day dynamic summit with powerful and influential speakers that will share their real-life strategies that brought them massive success. If you're tired of feeling stuck and you have a greater vision for your life but not sure what to do next, join the Me Revolution, Saturday, June 24th, from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at the Fort Lauderdale Hampton Inn. For more information and to get your tickets, go to Eventbrite and search The Me Revolution. Hi, I'm Alicia Curry, and you Have know you me from my radio show, your own Alicia online Audacious business? Confidence Start your business with Alicia now. Curry. It's fast, if you lack and confidence free. and boldness Just to really go out there and conquer the world, I'm here to share this valuable resource. In my book, Your Signature Style, Unlocking the Confidence, Style, and Influence of the Savvy CEO, I'll take you through a process where you can release your fears and embrace your femininity as a powerful tool to unleash your audacious confidence and win. This is where it all began for me, and I want to share it with you. Get your copy today at acradio.live. Bring out your beauty and confidence from the inside out. Buy this book today at www.acradio.live. 
Have you ever dreamed of owning your own online business? Start your business now. It's fast, easy, and free. Just sign up at mylife.net. You'll get a free personal business coach who will support you every step of the way. We'll help you sell products and services from our amazing product line in four life-based categories that can make you money. Your free business also comes with all the tools you'll need to be successful. Take control of your life with My Life. Sign up now for free at mylife.net. You're listening to Unleash Your Audacious Confidence with Alicia Curry. Now, let's get back to the show. Hi, everyone. You know, today is really um, a, a strange day for me. <laughs> my tripod just broke. Look at that. So I was sitting here trying to fiddle with Facebook, and my tripod just broke. Yay. <laughs> so when I left off, we talked a little bit. I was talking about um, Dr. Caroline Leaf, and um, she's this, this neuroscientist. She's world-renowned. She's done so many studies on the brain, and she has has this book that talks about it's called the gift in you and it talks about the seven pillars of thought and finding uh how you relate to people how you think how you process information and then how you are able to uh communicate that information is where your gift is found is where part of your gift is found and so there are the seven pillars which deal with um Really, thought and communication, it's intrapersonal, uh, interpersonal, linguistic, logical or mathematical, kinesthetic, musical, visual, and spatial. So she has this test in her book called The Gift in You, and the test allows you to see whether or not you're in, the way you think and the way you receive information, first of all, the way you receive information, the way you process information, and then the way you are able to um, then relate that information to other people um, makes you uniquely qualified for certain, certain things. So I just got the warning light on my computer. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Um, so intrapersonal deals with um, decision making, planning, deep analyzing, shifting between thoughts, realizing your goals, and developing strategies. Interpersonal is your social interaction, your communications, your, the way you, turn, you take turns, and turning into the needs, and turning it into the needs of others. Your linguistic is spoken and written. Uh, logical, math mathematical, deals with reasoning, logic, scientific thinking, num numbers, and problem solving. Kinesthetic is sensory and body awareness. Musical deals with um, reading between the lines, your intuition, your gut instincts, and also, uh, th again, this is about thinking. This is not about whether or not you have rhythm. <laughs> you know, this is how you think. Uh, and then visual spatial deals with imagination and formation of mental maps so when you look at you know there's some people that are just very logical thinking they think logically they receive information they need numbers they need data they need all that kind of that that specifics in order to understand how and what you're saying and how to interpret things there are people who um, they're very intuitive and so they rely on their gut a lot. Uh, there are people who are very aware spatially. You know, they they can look at a room and they can design things and they're creative that way. And so understanding, and this book is phenomenal, when you take the test and you really get to, to realize how you think, how you process, and then how you are able to relate information. And it allows you to also see very quickly how other people receive information so that you can give information the way you know others are going to receive information. So if you're a speaker or you're a teacher or you're someone who deals with the public a lot or deals with kids a lot, this is a really good book to have. It's called The Gift in You by Dr. Caroline Leaf. And it really allows you to understand how you, process, how you receive information and how you process information. And so... Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> Let me see. My computer is, hopefully it can last another 10 minutes on me. Please, please. So how, how we, um, let me skip through a couple things because I want to get down to understanding how you think is a great way, how you receive information, think about it, and process information is a great way, a great starting block for developing your own style. Because now that you understand, when you understand how you actually think and process information, then when someone is speaking to you or you're, you're, you're trying to understand something, it makes it a lot easier. I'll tell you, it was, a, it was groundbreaking for me to understand that, for me to understand how that I am spatially aware that I, I always thought I was logical, but um, <laughs> not according to the test. <laughs> you know, I'm more intuitive, I'm more logical, and I'm very intrapersonal and interpersonal. So I can relate things to people very easily, which makes is probably why I speak a lot because I can relate information to people easily. May not sound like it today, but <laughs> I, I, I promise you I can. <laughs> anyway, this is what happens when the wheels start coming off the bus, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, the next thing I wanted to, to talk about, because then we, we talked about the gift in you. So we talked about your spiritual tags. The other thing really quickly I want to talk about is consistency okay so in developing your signature style one of the things you have to start doing is being consistent when you discover your tags your gifts your talents your assets and your skills you want to start developing those things and you want to be consistent with it you want to make sure that now People are getting to know who you are and how they can expect you to be, right? It's very important to understand, um, it's very important for people to understand how they can relate to you. Um, when you start understanding that, then resistance becomes very low. And you begin to follow a path of least resistance for yourself. You know what makes you. Um, you know what makes you tick. You know what makes you move forward. You know what encourages you. You know what what holds you back. You know you start knowing those things, and you start understanding those things. And when you start under understanding those things, then things that normally you would um, probably try to fight through. When you start understanding yourself better, you won't bother to fight through those things because you know that you're just losing, you know, it's a losing battle. Ah, okay, we've gone dark. It's died on me, okay. So you start fi fighting a losing battle when um, you don't take the time to really understand who you are and how you operate. One of the things that, ha that helped me a lot, and again, it helps in building confidence because when you start understanding those things about yourself and you're not fighting against yourself because you think you're supposed to be a certain way or you're, you, you're expected to be a certain way, but then you realize that that's not really how you operate and how you function then you're able to, to release a lot of those things and really start operating in the way that you are most comfortable operating in and the things that you know that you do best. Um, developing your skills builds confidence. It builds confidence in yourself because now you know what you can do and you know how how exactly to do it. As a makeup artist, for instance, okay, that was a gift that I had. Um, I had to learn the skill of makeup artistry. I had to learn how to develop that skill. I had to um, pr 
practice it a lot. I had to be consistent. And so now when I go to see clients, it's not, I'm not, I, I'm very confident. I'm not intimidated by it. I'm not, um, I know what I'm doing. I know um, the time it will take me to do certain things. And so practice, consistency develops your skills and it allows you to build confidence in those things. Knowing yourself allows you to build confidence in who you are. Um, when I, I, um, sorry, <laughs> there are two things I want to say and I just looked at the time. So let me, let me get them in. When I lacked confidence and I had low self-esteem, it was because I didn't understand number one, who I really was. And number two, I didn't understand what my skills were. I didn't understand what my gifts were. I didn't understand what my assets were, what I have had a value to share. And so when I started to really take the time to understand those things and start developing it, then those things, like I said before, that I used to struggle with, the things that uh, really didn't serve me, uh, I started laying those things aside and saying, why am I trying to do this? And why am I struggling to learn to do this when the path of least resistance for me is just in developing my own skills, gifts, and talents, and assets? A lot of times people say that uh, you need to, to work on your weaknesses instead of developing your strengths. Well, Develop your strengths first. Don't work on your weaknesses. That's what I think. Because then developing your strengths help, help you build your confidence, build your own confidence. And then if you feel like you need to work on certain weaknesses, then you can go back and do that with a different perspective. Because they're not necessarily weaknesses. They just haven't really been developed yet. And you can turn those things into strengths if you still desire to do so. So that's me for today. Don't forget next week, Monday, to tune in at 6.30. Um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for joining me. Again, my book signing is on Thursday in Jacksonville. So if you're there, come check me out at Ashley Stewart. And I will see you next week. Have a great week, everyone. A wise friend always says to me, we have a finite number of minutes to spend. And just like you can only spend one dollar once, you can only spend one minute once. It's your choice. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for choosing to spend some of your minutes with me on my show. I wish you love, health, and happiness to live your life with audacious confidence. I love you and we'll see you next time. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Talk 1470 is...